New brawler? Who cares? Skins and pins? Who cares? New challenge? Ah! But oh my god, they've finally done it. We're getting a true ranked mode in Brawl Stars. Yeah! Similar to that of Rocket League or Overwatch. Now some of you might be thinking, why is this so important? How is this any different from normal ladder? A perfectly valid question. The biggest difference between ranked and ladder is that ranked rewards will not lose their value over time, much like rank 30 and rank 35 have. Supercell makes it so that over time, more and more players can get higher ranks in order to keep them interested in the game. But when it comes to ranking systems, there is a normal distribution curve, which says only a certain percent of players can be at a particular rank. So the profile icons we receive for our ranks will retain their value indefinitely. Right now, the only permanent mark of accomplishment in the game are your aggregate 3v3 wins. All other achievements are prone to losing their value at any point, just like rank 30, rank 35, your power play rank, and so on. But without further ado, here are the ranks. We have bronze, silver, gold, diamond, and then the last three are kind of subjective. I said master, champion, grand champion, but it could also be something like champion, master, legend, anything. Leave a comment, what would you name the last three ranks? Very quickly, if you don't already know, the way Power Week is supposed to work as of now is that there are two separate modes, one for solo, one for team. Each player gets to ban a brawler, and maps are randomly picked, and it is a best of three on that random map. The obvious positives of Power League are that, one, there is a new reason to grind the game. Trophies have lost all of their meaning, and I, among other people I know, have had way less interest and enjoyment playing the game as of late due to these recent changes they've made. But now, with exclusive profile pictures on the line, there is a new reason to grind the game again. But there's a couple things I noticed about Power League that could be potentially problematic. First of all, the rewards. So we get star points for our ranks. Okay, who cares? Maybe I'm suffering from the false consensus effect here, but I don't think anyone cares about star points. They don't do anything. You see, I don't care about star points. I'm only worried about the good rewards, which are the icons you'll get for getting high ranks. But the, th the thing I'm worried about is that the lower ranked players who aren't going to be able to get those cool profile icons, they're just gonna, gonna have to get those star points. And since star points have no value, then these lower rated players are just not going to play the new mode. This could cause problems with distribution, among other things. And it's not just the lower rated players that are at risk here. If the rewards for higher rated players aren't as cool either, then it will become just like power play, where no one really cares about it or plays it. And I really hope that's not the case for Power Week. I want this to be like the good old Rocket League days, where I can sit down and just grind this for hours and hours. By the way, you did not want the smoke from me in Rocket League. Something else that could be potentially problematic is the matchmaking cooldown time. One of the biggest problems on ladder right now is the 24 hour matchmaking cooldown time. Once you clear a bunch of top teams, you will be able to push high trophies much easier because you will face teams that have disproportionately lower trophies than yours. Because you can't face the teams you've previously faced for 24 hours. This combined with the new one month long seasons means that people are now getting ranked 30s literally for free and rank 35 is now easier than it was before. How does this relate back to Power League? I think that there should be no matchmaking cooldown for Power League. If there's a matchmaking cooldown, the top players will eventually run out of teams good enough to beat them and end up getting like one or two points off of some terrible team that they queue up against after 10 minutes of matchmaking. If there is no cooldown, however, Good teams can just trade against each other and not have to win 3, lose 12 like the top teams on ladder. Top teams can actually face each other and have equal rewards for winning and losing, which would not discourage them facing each other like on ladder with plus 3, minus 12 with a thousand years of matchmaking. They didn't actually say that there was going to be a matchmaking cooldown, but I'm just saying that this is going to be a problem and really defeat the whole purpose of of the power week if there is indeed a matchmaking cooldown. Those are really the only glaring things I can see with power week and for the sake of 
the game. I hope I hope they find good solutions to them. But overall, I am super duper excited to play Power League, make videos on it, and get these sick exclusive player icons. And let me know what you think about everything. About the problems I address, the overall structure of Power League, even the, the design of the, the ranks. What, what, what do you think about everything? I'm, I'm really interested. I want to know. Um, but apart from that, that is all I have today. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, subscribe, and have a great rest of your day. Bye.